What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you four things that you can try to help your Excel sheet run faster if you're working with a lot of data. Now, I know that this worksheet is not a lot of data, but hopefully it will help get the point across. Also, as a note, I'm going to start with things that I would personally try first to per things that I would personally try last. So let's get started. So the first thing I would do if you haven't done this already is to go to main, is go to formulas and turn on manual calculations. So whenever Excel Whenever you calculate a formula in Excel, at Excel, it defaults to automatically calculating everything that's in the worksheet. As you can see, whenever I calculate this total sum function, uh, this range array function, and everything else free calculates as well too, which can take a long time to process. So to do that, you go to formulas, in the right, there's calculation, icon here, calculation options, then change it from automatic to manual. And now whenever I recalculate a formula, not everything recalculates. There is a keyboard trick I do, that will make it to where you can still recalculate the worksheet with ease without having to every time go and click formulas and calculation and calculate sheet. So to do that, press Alt M J. As you can see, every time we do that, the entire sheet recalculates. So the next thing that I would try would be to help make the Excel sheet save a little bit faster. Now I know that help, helping the Excel sheet save faster might not necessarily help it process faster, but it will hopefully will help you do work a little bit faster. So to do that, go to File, Options, Formulas, and then there's a little, there's a little checkbox, right, checkbox right here under Calculation Options that says Recalculate Worksheet Before Saving. So the Excel defaults to whenever you are saving a worksheet to recalculate everything in the workbook. Um, and that can take a long time and can make it to where it takes quite a bit of time to save. Just uncheck this box and, ho and hopefully that will help your Excel sheet save a little bit faster. The next thing that I would try is I would try to close out everything, everything, anything, everything that you don't necessarily need to have open, whether that be tabs on Chrome, whether that be different programs that you don't need, um, anything you can close, even if it's File Explorer. And the reason why is because if you do that, then your computer can just focus its computing power directly towards Excel and do calculations better. It's, it's just focusing more and more on Excel, the more stuff that you close. Um, another thing that I would try is to just find a way to make my document more lean. So one thing that you can do is to, for example, break out your workbook into multiple worksheets. Um, so, so for example, we have worksheet sheet one and sheet two. What you, one of the things that you can do to easily make a worksheet into its own, own workbook is to click on this little tab right here, right click, Move a copy and then to book, new book, and then you can either create a copy if you still want to have the worksheet in your original workbook, or just you don't want to create a copy, you just want it to move moved over. And as you can see, this worksheet is now its own workbook. So the worksheet was now its own workbook and it is not in this one anymore. So, with that being said, with that being said, um, if your Excel sheet is still running slow after breaking down your workbook into multiple workbooks, or if you simply just can't do that, the last thing that I would try would be to help make your file a little bit smaller and a little more efficient. Try to find ways that you can maybe take out formulas. So just say, oh, I don't, I don't actually need the total. I can take that out, for example, um, and move and move this up. So, or find ways to maybe make your formulas a little more efficient. Maybe if you are, if you have like a really complex formula, try to find ways to maybe try to do the same thing with a few, with few, few, few functions in your formula. Or maybe, yeah, maybe you have a couple graphs that you just don't need. They're kind of bogging your Excel, for, your Excel sheet down. Try to take that out. I mean, do things to make your Excel sheet a little bit more efficient. I guess, so, so I guess it's kind of wrap up is the things that I would try and order. So the first thing would be to turn on manual calculations. The second thing would be to turn off the feature where your associate automatically recalculates before saving. The third thing would be to close as many as many programs that you have opened as possible. The fourth thing would be to be trying to break your workbook into multiple into multiple workbooks. And the fifth thing would be to just try to get your worksheet and workbook and take things out to help make it through this processing in your workbook and worksheets. So that being said, I really hope that this will help make your Excel, your, your Excel file run a little bit faster. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Also in the, in the description, there are links to get free stock for signing up for Weeble. Um, please do that. You can get two free stocks. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.